Hi everyone. For today's video, I thought I would do uh, my little routine for cleaning brushes. Plus, it also motivates me to actually clean my brushes when I make a video. When I am extremely lazy, I use this sponge thing for powdered products like eyeshadow or face powder in between actually cleaning my brushes because it's definitely not my favorite thing to do. So today I'm going to use this uh, brush cleaner by e.l.f. of course, my favorite company. Practically everything I own is from e.l.f. <laughs> Practically. Pretty much. So I have two bowls here because I can't get to the sink easy enough because our apartment is fully accessible. So this is makeshift sink. One for actually cleaning the brushes and then one for rinsing. So I'm just going to spray and of course my hands don't want to cooperate and neither does the pump. Okay, so what I'm going to do is just take my hands and just run it in the water. And another thing I can do is I have a little scrubber over there somewhere, but I don't know where it is right now. Um, but a lot of the time I would just use that. So I'm just going to use the side of the bowl. And then I'll just wipe it off here, see how clean or gross it still is. And it's still pretty gross. So we're going to pause this and see if we can find the scrubber. So I'm going to use this now because my other method wasn't working so well. So what I'm going to do is just dunk it in, get it wet, get the brush wet. And just brush it back and forth. And I haven't used this thing very often. Um, I got it a few months ago. So. This is cute. Weird thing. Yeah, it was only a few dollars I got at TJ Maxx along with the sponge thing for eyeshadows between cleanings. Hmm. Fun. So just for the sake of this video, I'm going to move on to another brush and I'll come back to this later on. Alright, let's get... An eyeshadow brush that is really gross. So I use this one for my darkest shadows and you can see that it has sparkles all over it and it's dark purple. Yep. It's one of my favorite shadows. What else were shown? Yep. So I dunk it. And look at that. It's coming right off. You might need to get a sponge for your brush cleaner. I just need to use actual soap on it. Which I probably should be using regular soap, but... Well... So, I'm just gonna try and spray this one. I'm just spraying myself. <laughs> Spray your, <clears throat> yourself in the eye or oh, something. That stuff stinks. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell I don't usually use these products very often because I really hate cleaning my brushes. And as a lot of other beauty gurus, makeup people on YouTube, none of them like it either. It's mundane task.
changed methods because the brush cleaner that I had wasn't working too well. So we switched to watered down dish soap. So let's get on to the brush cleaner. Mm -mm. The brush cleaner. And then this is the foundation, the liquid foundation brush that I use. And I was trying to attempt to clean it earlier. Yeah, this is working a little better. And the convenient thing about this scrubber is I can fit my finger into it and hold on to it that way. Because, as you probably have seen in previous videos, my hands don't cooperate <laughs> very well. So, I just do what I can. Do things differently. Well, that is one reason why I chose the name of my channel, different, Beautifully Different. I'd say that's decent for now. Yep. So I'm going to continue this, but this is basically my process, and I'm probably going to just switch out this water for this other bowl since it's clean and this is pretty gross. So this is how I clean my brushes and what I'm going to do with the clean ish ones because I can't get them perfectly clean. I am just going to lay them over there overnight to dry. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's short, but yeah. So, bye!